Yeah, well, that's got to feel good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it's really important to win early games, and you know, you train all summer. So, um, yeah, pleasing performance. First round, they can get you know pretty scrappy towards the end. Both teams are pretty tired, so no, it's pleasing. Yeah, it's obviously lacking a little bit of polish round one um, on both sides. But where do you think you guys won it? I think we probably took our chances early um, and we're able to get a bit of scoreboard pressure on. So, uh, you know, especially games early in the year when you're going to tire and uh, I thought our boys hung in there and uh, much easier, I guess, when you're in front for rather than trying, trying to chase down. So um, we started well, which was important. You've got to be pretty happy with the effort in the midfield, even when they weren't, uh, sometimes they didn't use it as best they could. They, they were putting the pressure on to make it easy for guys like Blaine and... Um, and uh, the boys to sort of mop things up down back. Yeah, look, I thought uh, across the board we were really good with our pressure for, for the majority of the night. Um, uh, and so, well, West Perth, after three, after quarter time, they certainly came out and lifted their intensity and pressure. And yeah, you know, skills weren't pretty at times, but uh, they were pretty enough. So, um, you know, at the end of the year, they don't say you've, you've had a certain number of wins, but four of them are ugly. So, we'll, you know, we'll take any way they come to start. And you've got to be happy with Blaine's first game for the club? Yep, very handy recruit. So uh, look, you know, some of the guys we we brought in, those experienced players, able to sort of play behind the ball and read the game. Blaine, you know, Kyle Hands was super as well. Um, but you know, to the midfield's credit and the forwards, you know, they pressured hard up the ground, which hopefully helped the the defenders get in a good position. Uh, so is there anything you see you, you think you need to work on? I mean, it's obviously a constant improvement. Yeah, look, there's lots of things we can improve on. Um, no doubt about that. So, I mean, the good thing about games and starting to play against opposition and getting some vision is you can identify the things you need to get better at, and there's lots of those. So uh, we'll go to work, have a look at the tape, and then start to prepare for next week. Pretty exciting debut, Trey Bunnell as well. Yeah, great story, you know, like... Uh, unheralded kid, just had a really good summer, really bought into what we were trying to do. Um, and it's just his form's really just built. You know, he earned the right uh, to play the first scratch match, did enough, got better the week after, and then was better again tonight. And, you know, great reward for the kid to, you know, kick a goal late. And, you know, again, he's scrapping, pressure, chase. You know, it was really good. That's why he's playing. James Sellers spent a lot of time in defence last year, but... When you can have a four that size, you can take some marks. It's pretty handy. Yeah, there's not too many guys six foot five with his, his mobility around the ground. He really, I guess, the, probably the first couple of weeks we thought we maybe struggle for a, another target down there. And um, you know, we asked asked Jimmy to take it on board, and he was you know super keen to help the team. And he said he'll play wherever he can to, to help the team. So yeah, look, he had a really good influence, and he, when he sort of gives you a bit of a pinch hit in the ruck, he gives you good mobility, and you know, he's a good player. Good signs that you've got some players to come into this into the side over the next couple of weeks as well. Perry didn't play, Byron back to come in, Delorio to come in, so some depth there as well. Yeah, look, really good signs, and there's probably half a dozen players that will have to play in the reserve tomorrow that legitimately probably did enough to, to earn the right, but unfortunately we can only play 22. So, um, you know, it's really positive that we've got so many guys available at the moment, and hopefully that continues um, because, you know, you want competition for spots. I mean, it's hard for the players, but it's good for the club and we're all here for, you know, the club to have success. What do you expect from Perth next Saturday? Yeah, not sure. I haven't seen much of them, so um, I'll get an opportunity to go and have a look tomorrow. So, uh, have a look and, uh, and then we can get to work on Monday and start preparing to, to, to take them on. Looks like the coaches got a wall wound as well. What happened? Yeah, look, uh, I got dragged into the uh, singing of the song and then obviously the boys were a bit excited and obviously ducked when I should have weaved and uh, they were pretty happy now that I've bled for the club as well so we're all in it together. Uh, one sour note out of the game, do you know what was reported in the second quarter? Uh, I haven't heard, uh, I haven't heard but maybe I'm not sure but um, yeah I haven't seen it so I have to follow up. <laughs> Cheers. All right. All good.